God is sending people. He's sending people to you today, whoever this word is for. I just wanted to come on here and share a really quick testimony for you guys. So in my in a couple of videos back, which I will link this video in the description section, um, I talked, it was like, you are pregnant. That was the video. Yes, you are pregnant. In that video, I talked about how a young man came up to me and he prayed for me. And when he prayed for me, he released the gift and the anointing that the Lord has for me. And that's what the Lord had for me in the month of February. And that's that's what I got revelation on. That the gifts that the Lord had for me in that moment, they were released in February when that man came down and prayed for me. So make sure you check out that video. <clears throat> in my last video, I talked about how I was at church. And it was the it's the video about obedience. So make sure you check that one out too. In that video, I talked about going to church for a revival service. And I didn't mention that a, a friend that I wasn't expecting came up to me and began to pray for me. <clears throat> now, what was so significant about that is during the revival service, I was trying to get into worship and it was like hard. Like it was almost like there was some type of resistance there to where I couldn't get into worship. Usually I'm shouting, hands up, crying. And that's just me naturally. You know, that's just me, how God has, how the Holy Spirit has developed me in my worship to God. Amen. So it's very natural, very authentic. And I just remember um, not feeling that in the moment. And I know that relationships with God is not always about feeling. Most times it's not. It's about the truth and about the word, right? But I like to be able, me personally, <clears throat> I like to be able to feel the Holy Spirit, feel the fire of God. And I just wasn't feeling it. There was some type of resistance there. It was really cold in church last night. I just wasn't feeling 100% in it. And I wanted to, and I was standing up, I was singing, I was trying to get into it. My back started to hurt, which was weird. Eventually I sat down and my friend came up to me and, you know, we don't really talk that often at all. Um, but I thank God for her because she came up to me and she said, tapped me on the shoulder and she said, Hey, I just wanted to pray for you. And it was, I was feeling fine. I wasn't sad or anything like that. I was just grateful to be in the presence of God, to be in the house of the Lord, that he's moved so much in my life and in my heart that I would be there on a Friday night instead of outside or drinking in the house or at a friend's house and all of that. So I was just grateful to be there, right? Um, the minute she said that she wanted to pray for me, she got on her knees because I was sitting down. I began to cry. And what what I now know was the anointing, was the the blanket, thank you God, the blanket, glory be to God, of God's love that was resting on me because of a friend that God came the God had come and pray for me. It was beautiful, it was moving. And, you know, sometimes people, we rush through prayer because we already know what we're going to pray, right? We rush, kind of rush through prayer. We pray fast. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. But she took her time and she paused and she allowed herself. She had humility and didn't rush through prayer like, oh, I already know what to pray. No, she, she sat there and she listened for God's voice, whatever God had to tell her. And that's how she prayed. And she prayed so spot on. And I could just feel the the anointing and like I said the blanket of God's love because God will send his 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 children he will send his people okay to come over and anoint you and to bless you and to pour into you right because we can't in our flesh always it it's possible feel God right we can't always do that physically but God will send somebody right? He will send his spirit through somebody else. Hallelujah. To pour into us, to, to love on us. And that's exactly what God did for me. He loved on me. And when I tell you guys, that was the only thing that I needed in that moment. And I wept. 
like a baby the rest of service. And it was exactly what I needed. I just needed to feel the love and the presence of God. And then I had two of my other friends come up to me later on or after church and I began to cry again because I couldn't control the tears and I know that's how Holy Spirit moves through me he moves through me through my tears a lot of the times and um I was trying to fight it and I shouldn't but I was trying to fight it like okay let me compose myself but I couldn't and my friend told me whatever the Lord is doing in you allow it to happen if you need to just cry and cry and cry cry it out it's okay and she was absolutely right my friends began to just pour into me in a way that I wasn't seeking or asking for but God wanted to do something in me and I don't know who needs to be reminded of this today but there's more to God than just his hand Okay, God wants that relationship with you. He wants that intimacy with you. He wants to love on his child as a father would, as a father should. All right? There's more to God than just his hand. He wants to love you and he wants to be with you intimately, right? As a father should with his child. And it just encouraged me. And it wanted it it, in my spirit. I was led to make this video and let somebody know today, God is sending people. God is sending people, all right? Because even I received a phone call, glory be to God, with a connection to a resource that I might need, that I might be able to use to get to where God wants to put me. God is sending people. He's sending people right now. And so I just pray, Father God, right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, whatever kingdom connections that you have for us in this season, God, let it reach us without delay, without distraction, without hurdles, without roadblocks in the road, Father God. I pray for that release, Father God, that you make the path straight and clear for whatever it is that you have for us to reach us, whether it be people, whether it be answers, whether it be something of the supernatural go- supernatural God allow it to find us in this season in this time Lord God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I ask Father God that you anoint the path of the people that you have sent out to us allow them to be able to find us without resistance without uh confusion without delay without any withholds from the enemy I pray for that in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name And I pray a hedge of protection over these words that are flowing through my mouth and into the ears of the listener of this video. I just pray for this all in Jesus' mighty name. I just say thank you, Father God. Lord God, we thank you for this moment. We thank you, God, for this prayer, for encouraging this prayer, Holy Spirit. We thank you for the kingdom connections. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for the divine interactions, Lord. We thank you for it all in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, the name above all names, we thank you for it, Lord. Amen. All right, I love you all so much, and I want to just leave you guys with that. If you haven't already subscribed to this YouTube channel, subscribe right now. Make sure that you're subscribed, um, and turn off your turn on your bell notifications for my posts. That way you can get my posts, and also when I live stream, you guys. I'm gonna begin to start live streaming. All right, I ask that you please share this video with somebody who needs to see it. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, like this video, and also leave your comments down in the description box down below. If you have any testimonies to share i love testimonies so go ahead and share those all of my information will be in the description box down below if you feel led to sow and give that information will be in there if you want to connect with me via social media that information will be in there as well all right i love you all so much and you have a blessed weekend i'll see you in my next video